God is good and all the time. And this world of, as it were, greed, avarice, and where people seem to be amassing wealth. Saint Elizabeth of Hungary becomes a model for our Christian lives. Born to a family of royals in Hungary, at the age of 14, she was married to the king of Turgia, Turingia. So let's say at the age of 20, she already became a widow because her husband died. Married at the age of 14, six years later, her husband died. Prior to the death of her husband, young as she was, her love for ascetism, giving up on riches, although she had so much as a royal, and not just giving up, but using them for the afflicted, for the poor and the needy. That is the point. That in the midst of all the riches she had, by virtue of ascription, she was a royal. She used these goods for the good of humanity. When her husband died at the age of 20, the family members of her husband got her out of the palace. They said she was, she's just wasting property, giving to the, the sick, the poor, the vulnerable. We are people of class. We are royals. Why do you do these things? Thanks be to God, friends of her husband who had gone on crusades came back. And when they came back, they said, no, this woman's child, of course, before her husband died, she had three children with her husband. Her son is heir to the throne. So you cannot get her out of the palace. They brought her back. And even when she came back, she still continued to serve humanity. Before she got to the age of 24, St. Elizabeth of Hungary died. Elizabeth was not 24 years. She died before her 24th birthday. But why is she a model? Because many a time when we hear saints, we think that saints are priests, bishops, religious, your reverend sister. Here we have a lay person, a married woman, a young lady, dying before her 24th birthday because of her good deeds today, we celebrate her as a saint. Let us emulate her virtues. Let us pick up her good deeds and show love. Of course, before you can do all the things she did, you must have love. And for her love for the poor, sick, the needy, the church has made the patroness of our charity groups. And again, she joined the secular order of the Franciscans before her death. May Elizabeth continue to intercede for us so that we may stand erect and know that our redemption is at hand. Amen.